Good evening, I'm Jesse May. Welcome to Late Night Poker, a poker tournament that will feature 40 players battling it out for a prize pool of 60,000 pounds. Tonight we have eight players, each of whom has put up 1,500 pounds of their own money for a shot to go to the final table, where first prize will be worth 40,000 pounds. In seat number one is Simon Trumper. He's an owner of a small drainage company in Guilford. In seat two, Dave Colcloth is a computer consultant from Feltham. Dave's attracted to the Wild West persona of poker. No one's born a poker player, he says. Rather, you accidentally just turn up at a poker game and are gripped. In seat three is the well-known inventor, Sir Clive Sinclair. He thinks his inventive brain sometimes gets in the way because he finds himself thinking about other things when he should be concentrating on his poker. Concentrate, Clive! Before the game began, each player's 1,500 pounds was converted to chips. Those yellow chips you see are each worth 25 pounds, and the red chips are worth 100 pounds each. A total of 12,000 pounds in real British sterling is on the table. In seat four, former professional snooker player Ram Vaswani from London. Ram says he's definitely got the killer instinct, but he can take losing too. In seat five is the Irishman Liam Flood from Kildare a former winner of the European Open Poker Tournament. Liam's father was a bookmaker. I guess you could say gambling's in their blood. In seat six, Torquay piano teacher, Kate Sharametta. She says men think that women don't bluff, and she's not saying anything. But is she bluffing? In seat seven is Michelle Abacassi, a bridge international based in Paris, who was once the chief editor of the women's magazine Elle. And in seat eight, from Birmingham, scrap metal merchant, Peter the Bandit Evans. Our first dealer tonight is Marina, and our floor man, or referee, is Thomas Kremser. They both hail from the Concord Card Casino in Vienna. Poker will continue tonight until one player has all the money. That player will take 8,000 pounds to the final table. The runner-up tonight will take 4,000 pounds. For the other six, yes. goodbye money. The game tonight is No Limit Texas Hold'em. Play begins with each player receiving two cards down from the dealer. The action's always moving in a circle, and players must make a betting decision first based on the value of those two cards alone. But in the end, it's five cards that make up a poker hand. The best hand you can make is a straight flush, which is five cards in a row, all of the same suit. Not gonna see that happen too often tonight. Then we go down to four of a kind, full house, and all the way down to highest card, when you can't even make a pair with your five cards. Every five card poker hand falls in somewhere in this list. Here comes the flop. These three cards are community cards, that is, every player uses them along with their own two cards in making their best five card hand. Using a nine from his hand and the nine on the board, Sir Clive has made a pair. Apparently he thinks it's worth a bet of a hundred pounds. Kate's hand didn't get helped by the flop at all, but she still leads with her pair of aces. And she's put 200 pounds in. That's matched Sir Clive's bet of 100 and raised 100. The remaining players are going to have to match those 200 pounds if they want to continue in the hand. Okay, everyone's folding to Sir Clive. And he's going to have to call 100 pounds if he wants to continue the hand. Looks like he's going to call. 100 to me? Yes. Thank you. Here we go. We're going to see the fourth card now, or the turn card. It's Sir Clive's action, check. and he's going to check. check. Kate bet 75 pounds into a pot that's already over 500 pounds. Sir Clive calls, so we get to see the river card, the last card. Let's look at what everybody's got. Sir Clive's best five cards, using the seven he has available to him, are two pairs. Kings over nines with an ace kicker. Kate also has two pairs. But they are aces over kings with a nine kicker. She's in the lead. Check. Sir Clive checks for his final betting option. The action is once again to Kate. Thank you. Because you know, this game is no limit, Kate has the option of betting anything she wants. But she's only betting 75 pounds. Sir Clive's going to call and we get to see a showdown. Best hand wins the pot. Kings and nines doesn't beat aces and kings. Kate's going to rake a pot of 825 pounds. Thank you. Nice hand, Kate. It's not bad for three minutes' work, is it? Fine. All right, with me tableside tonight, 
is the chief editor of Poker Europa magazine and really no stranger to final poker tables himself, Nick Sharamata. Thank you. And that was your daughter that just won that pot, wasn't it, Nick? Uh, that's my girl. What do you think of those aces? Well, uh, she, she played them pretty sneaky, uh, really. Um, she just tiptoed in without raising on those aces, looking for a fish, and she kind of caught one. It's uh, not, not too often you see people coming in with aces without a, at a hefty raise. But she uh, she, had she managed to set a good trap there. Yeah, yeah she trapped them. She could have made a little bit more, but maybe another couple of hundred pounds. But it's uh, early days, so she doesn't want to risk her entire stack too quick. Here we go, raised next fifth. hand. Moving around, it's been raised by Simon. He's only raised 25 pounds to 50. Sir Clive comes in with no problem. Rams in. Okay, present. Cool. Liam likes it, and so does cool. Peter. Looks like we got five players for the flop. That's gonna put about 250 pounds in the pot with only two cards. Here's the flop. Two eights and a queen. We'll be using under the table cameras tonight to show you the cards. We're gonna have the luxury of being able to know everybody's hands, but the players have no way of knowing anyone's cards but their own. Liam's putting a bet in with the ace queen. Looks pretty strong. That's top pair, isn't it, Nick? Mm-hmm. Oh no, Simon's got two kings. He can match those two kings with two eights on board to make kings over eights. Liam's only got queens over eights, two pair. So Simon's in the lead, and I would guess he knows it. What do you think, Nick? For sure, he, he's, he's thinking about now how to make as much money as possible out of this hand. The bet's 150 pounds to him. Cool. Pass. Pass. He's set him up. By not raising, he's set him up. Well, Ram folds, and we're down to two players. We're gonna, we're gonna see another card. Thanks turn card, or the fourth card. Here it comes. No help for either player, and the action's back Check. on Liam. He checks. Check. Simon's setting up for a bet on the end. Simon checks, too, so he's wow. the fifth card. Check. Check. Now Simon's just filled up with kings up. He can't be beaten. He's got a full house, Simon does. Three kings and two eights. That's about the strongest hand you can have right now. and. It, I can't imagine Liam like that king. Beats his queen on board. He calls, he's still got queens over eights, and we see the showdown. You know, in fact, that king um, did more damage to Simon than good because if the king doesn't come, he can bet even more, and Liam's gonna call him. But the king frightened Liam from uh, betting any more. All right, we've still got eight players, and action's heating up a little bit. It's 50 pounds bet to Kate. Pass. She's not having it. Michelle Pass. folds. Raise to 300. Pass. Peter Pass. puts 300 pounds in. Pass. That's a, that's a pretty steady raise. Pass. See how much respect he gets for it. Morning. Raise wow. Up. Pass. Ram's having a shot at it. <coughs> he's moving all in with two jacks. Well, he's got the best of it. Peter's only got an ace and a ten. What kind of favorite <coughs> would you say Ram is in the hand right now? Ram's about six to four on, maybe a little bit better. But Peter's, I think, all in. Cool. Yep. Peter's calling all in. That's about 800 pounds. 900. Each, 900 pounds. Well, that's going to put 2,000 pounds in the pot. That's a pretty hefty pot. Thank you. Thank you. Players are going to turn over their cards because Peter's all in. Thanks. We're going to see all five cards. No more betting in the hand. And Ram has a pair of checks. Ram's liking it, but he doesn't want to see an ace. Here's the flop. Oh, no. Peter's got an ace on the board, an ace in his hand. Pair of aces beats Ram's pair of jacks. And Ram doesn't catch a jack on the river to win. Peters takes the worst hand up against the best hand and wins a 2,000 pound British sterling pot. What do you think of that? I think, uh, I know, no, what he's called the bandit. <laughs> well said. Well, Ram can't be very happy. Two jacks look pretty strong there. Uh, truth is, he did the right thing. Um, you know, 
if you always get your chips in with the best hand, you know, you're going to come out in front on the end. You know. I tell you, Ram having the best hand is no consolation right now because he, he's still looking a little short and he can't pull out any more money. Raised to 250. That's a raise. 250 pounds straight. Fold it around to Simon. He's got a decision with an A7 of clubs. Cool. Simon's hoping to pick up an A or a couple of big clubs. Down to two players, 500 pounds in the pot. Oh Lord, Liam's got a jack 10. That's not too strong, is it? Two players. Pair of sixes and. Check. Check. Simon's in the lead with the ace high. Oh my gosh. That must be a thousand pounds, Liam is betting. I guess that's why he won the European Championship. It's a complete bluff. He just detected that Simon was weak. You don't have to have the best hand to win the pot, do you? You just gotta have the... make the bet at the right time. The thing about No Limit Hold'em is not really about what you got, it's about what the other guy thinks you've got. Right. Because Liam raised an early position there, Simon must have thought he had a big pair or at least an ace in his hand. Cool. All right. Sir Clive's in. Oh. Ram makes another all-in move. No. Looks like it's about 800 pounds to call. Pass. Pass. Peter's definitely got enough. Seven, seven, That's a pretty nice looking seven. hand, isn't it, Nick? Mm, calling an all-in raise. Um, he's got to be a little bit optimistic. He's sticking his entire stack in with something. Going back round, right? So we're two players in. Looks like they're gonna let them fight it out. Rams all in. Show your Oh, he's got the jacks again. He's got the jacks against Peter again. Uh, just about the same situation as last time. It's better for Ram this time. King ten on board. Peter needs a queen for a straight. Or a diamond. Or a diamond now for a flush with his four diamonds. But Ram's in the lead with the two jacks. Oh. Two of diamonds on the river gives five diamonds. I tell you what, Ram must hate those jacks. He's either going home to kick the cat or find a game to get his money back, one of the two. The bandit. No wonder. Oh. Well, Peter takes another 1,600 pound pot and we're down to seven players. Ram's going to have to wait till next time. Seven players remaining, only two of whom are going to be able to go on to the poker finals and a shot at that 40,000 pound first prize. We can see Dave's got a lot of chips. What has he got, about 4,000 there, Nick? Uh, I guess so, at least. Must be in control of this table. Five's short, Kate's short. And Liam doesn't have that much either. He's going to wait. Where's Liam? 300. Oh, Kate's going to make that move with no chips. She's got to get some chips from somewhere, so she's going to bet anything. Doesn't mean she's got a hand. 300. 200 more. 200 more to Peter. He's going to match it. Okay, Peter's all in. Okay, turn over the cards. We're all in. Peter's got 6 3 of hearts. Peter has 10 7 of spades. 10 7 against 6 3. All right, let's see five cards. Okay, we got a pair of Peter's seven. the favorite here, huh? Oh, now he Big is. Favorite. He's a pair of sevens. And Kate's got four hearts. Yeah. A heart will win. Go. <laughs> it's a heart. Yes. 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 Oh. Yes. Ah, visit from the poker fairy. What, what are the odds of winning that hand? <laughs> she sees Peter's pair of sevens, which she's only got a six-three. It's about twenty to one to make a flush after those three cards, isn't she? Yep, sure is. <laughs> That's how you do it. So Kate's doubled through. She's back to about six or seven hundred pounds now. She can afford to wait a little bit, but not too long. Yes, Kate, you did just win a pot with a three and a six. Mm -hmm. You know, Nick, we haven't talked about blinds yet. 
Yeah, sure, Jesse. What you see from the overhead camera is that the first two players to the uh, left of the button uh, have to post bets without even seeing their cards. These are the blinds. Now, to stay in the game, the uh, players have to match the big blind. These big blinds go up every half hour, so the size of the game goes up every half hour. In essence, the blinds are, are really the first bet. Correct. They, they control the size of the overall pot. And right now, the blinds are at 75 and 150 pounds, so you couldn't make a bet for under 150 pounds. That's correct. And when we started the tournament, it was the blinds were only 25 and 25 pounds. Yeah, as, as, the, as the blinds go up every half hour, the pressure on the players increases, the pots get bigger. Especially the ones with the smaller stacks of chips. All right, well, we've got a pot brewing here. It's 150 pounds with six players. That's 900 pounds in the pot. King, queen, ten on the flop. Action checks around. Check. Kate and Liam both pass. <laughs> well, he's got the aces. It's the first bet we've seen Michelle make, and he puts 500 pounds in on two aces. Mm, he, he wins the patience prize. You yeah. can see him play. Dave and Simon are having none of it. Sir Clive has got the never hand. I, I think they call it that because it never wins. <laughs> Ace two. I think he must be thinking about another invention. But he's so short stacked, he's desperate. He's got to get his chips in with something. He can make a top straight with a jack, but that's about the shape of it. Liam's thinking pretty serious about this with two players already in. It's 500 pounds to him, king nine of spades. That gives him the top pair on the flop, a pair of kings with a nine kicker. He could use the nine in a straight if he caught a jack. Think he's got, is he thinking he has the best hand? Well, Jesse, I don't think so. Um, he, he probably doesn't put Michelle on a pair of aces. What he's probably thinking is that Michelle's also got a king. Um, but uh, maybe he thinks Michelle's got a king with a queen or king with a ten. And that would put him in a pretty tough spot. Correct. His, his, his nine is no good in this situation. Very tough decision. He hasn't seen Michelle play a hand. <laughs> that is true. And Liam's got about a thousand pounds in front of him, so 500 would almost commit him. There's 1,400 pounds in the pot. So if he called, it would make the pot almost 2,000 pounds. Us. No, he's out. He's down to two players. Us. And uh, let's, let's see the cards. Sir Clive is all in, so there's no more betting. <laughs> Clive has ace, twos, and Michelle has a pair of aces. Michelle's liking this spot. He's got trouble losing. <laughs> I don't even know how he could lose. Okay, Clive needs a check to win. Okay, thanks. It's not gonna happen. Sir Clive is out, and we're gonna be down to six players. He needed a jack to stay alive, and he didn't get it. Let's look at that hand and, and see what happened. You can see here that Michel uses the best five out of the seven he has available are the two aces and the two queens with a king kicker. Sir Clive is going to use four cards from the board, two queens and two tens with an ace kicker, but it's not going to be good enough. And we're down to six. Remember, only two of these players are going to go ahead to the poker finals and a shot at that 40,000 pound first prize. Other four of these players are going to have to go home with nothing. So the tension is really building here. Raised to 500. They've stuck a 350 pound raise in up to 500 pounds. Liam's next to act. Whew, pair of queens. Well, you, you wouldn't imagine that, that Liam would consider that being the worst hand, would you? I mean, he's not going to think about folding it, is no, he? No, he's not thinking about folding, he's thinking about raising. <laughs> he's, is, he, is he trying to set the trap, or...? No, I think he's just going to put it all in. Yeah, that's what he does. All in. Liam's gone all in. Let's see how much it is. 1,450. 1,450 more. That's an addition to the 500 pound call. So it's 1,400 pounds a day, which is a hefty percentage of his chips. And if he called, the pot would be 4,000 pounds. He can't call in this spot. 
No, no, not if he likes money, he can't. Two eights. I didn't realise I had that much money. Well, Liam's going to take the pot. That's that's about six hundred pounds that he didn't have. Juice. Juice. Here we go. It's Michelle's hundred and fifty pound blind, and the action's on Peter Evans. <laughs> Pass. Yeah, the bandit's been pretty quiet. Pass. Try this again. Well, we have action. Five hundred. That's the second five hundred pound raise in as many hands for Dave. I wonder if he's got better than a pair of eights this time. <laughs> oh no, Liam again? Could be a good time for a move. Come over the top of Dave with nothing. I don't think he's going to do that. He's got a hand. Oh, he does. He doesn't get much better than Ace King with only two cards. You raise all that. That's the same move he just made. A 500 pound raise from Dave and Liam's coming over the top with all his chips. Orin. Kate's calling, but she only had 300 pounds in front of her, so... She's maybe just looking for action on her cards. At this stage, was she so, sh so short stacked, she's just gonna get lucky. She knows that, because the blinds are gonna kill her. Uh, so she might as well take a flyer and hope for the best. Two jacks. Dave's got the two jacks this time. That's better than eights. That's about an even money with Ace King. What do you think he's thinking he's a about? Marginal favorite. He's, I mean, if he called this two thousand pound bet, it would almost put all his chips in. We put a five thousand pound pot, and I guess whoever won that pot is going to be the chip leader by a ways. This is a very dangerous call if Dave makes it. Liam's gone all in for the 500 plus about 16 or 1700 more. It looks like if Dave called the all in bet, he would still still have about three or 400 pounds left. That's not very much. Okay, you got me. How much? 1600 more, total of 21. Total of 2,100 pound bet. Two lines now in this round. It's Kate and Liam. That's 4,600 pounds in British sterling. Pretty cool pot. Okay, perfect. Just leave the bet out there. Just <coughs> so show your hands. Liam has ace king. Mm -hmm. Kate, the secondary player, has 10, two of diamonds. Yeah. The pair of check. All right, here we go. Let's see the flop and two more cards. Okay. Here comes the flop. <laughs> Oh, they're both on their feet. This is traditional good. Well done, among good. poker players when they think they're about to start walking. Pair of jack is still high. Okay. Kate has got a pair of jacks. Me too. Okay. All right, Dave is high with the jacks. Liam needs an ace and a ki or a king, and Kate's got a pair of deuces. A deuce or a ten would probably get her out of this spot. Fifth card. Yes. Oh boy. They call the river card the killer card because things can change so quick. Kate's gonna go walking. Let's look at what happened. It was anybody's ball game up until the last card, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Even Kate with her rubbishy ten deuce can win. She can win with a two or a ten. Dave's jacks are in front. Liam got lucky on the end. So we're down to five players. Dave is very short stack. I can't imagine he has more than a couple hundred. And Kate got unlucky there. And Liam must be the chip leader with over five thousand pounds. I'll raise. That's three hands in a row. Dave's raising. Oh. This one's setting them all in for six hundred. Just goes to show how fast things can turn around. One time he's uh, leading with about five thousand chips. Two hands later, he's down to virtually nothing and having put all his money with a pair of sixes. And he can't be happy about that. Nope. Basically, if anybody calls him, they're going to have a pretty good shot of beating him, huh? I mean, even a queen eight isn't very bad. Bad up against a pair of sixes. Sorry, I forgot to show the cards. Liam's passed. The action's on Michelle. Michelle is actually thinking about calling this bet. Well, 600 pounds. It looks like he's got about a thousand there. 
Cool. Pass. <coughs> How much are you playing? Oh, Simon's thinking about coming in here. You always gotta watch out for the players who haven't acted yet, do you? Never know what they're gonna do. Simon's got the ace jack, and he's got a lot of Please. chips, too. Nice. No one's gonna put him all in this hand. He said raise. One thousand. The reason he can afford to raise is because Michelle didn't. Oh. If Michelle had raised, Simon may not have played. Okay. He might have thought the ace jack was beat. Okay. Yeah. But the fact that uh, Michelle just limped is a sign of weakness, so Simon doesn't feel so bad about raising him. He probably figures that his ace jack is better. Well, the situation is three players, two of them all in. There's 2,200 pounds in the pot. And David and Michelle could both go walk in this hand if Simon wins. Definitely someone's going to have to go out this hand. All right, let's see the flop and two more cards. Michelle. He has ace nine. Put your nice two. Dave has a pair of sixes, and Simon is Jack. Oh, this is a close call between all of them. Anybody's ball game. Seven, well, the Jack, and ten. Well, there's a pair. That's a pair for Simon. It's a top pair, and he's far in the lead now. Okay. Michelle would need an eight for a straight. And now, Queen would make a tie straight between Michelle and Simon. Dave's out unless he gets a six. Can't see that happening. Oh, uh, speak of the devil. <laughs> all right. Can't see it happening, eh? <laughs> well, there's only two cards to catch out of the whole oh, deck. Yeah. There's a red six uh, and a red six. Yeah, it's like backing an outside on a horse race. 20, 20 to 1 <laughs> shot. There he goes. Simon feels like he just had an opportunity to knock two players out and put it down to three. And instead, Michelle's going to go walk. Let's look at that hand and see what everybody had. It's anybody's ball game up there, except, except David, <laughs> really. <laughs> Yeah. What do you think? He, he's big dog all the way through the hand until the end. But uh, you can see he's going to use his two sixes on the board with his two sixes in his hand with a six on the board and three sixes. Nobody can top it. Yeah. So there's four left. David escaped a big old situation and uh, we go onward. Liam's still looking like the chip leader Definitely though. Definitely didn't go with the other card, so don't worry about it. Okay. Race. In this spot, when they're down to four players, it's going to be the guy who shows the most aggression. Who wins? One thousand in total. Total. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah. Liam's raised the bet to a thousand, and looks like Dave's going all in. Small pair. Yeah, he has. Dave has ace queen. It's an ace queen. Has a pair of threes. It's okay. an ace queen for Dave and a pair of threes for Liam. It's almost a toss up at that spot. About 4,000 pounds in the pot again. Now Liam's a pretty big favorite with two pairs, sixes and threes. Dave needs an ace or a queen to get out. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Nick, you better take us through this one. What are these guys got? Dave, Dave thinks he's lost, <laughs> but in fact, he's won. <laughs> uh, yeah, he wins with two pairs, sixes and fours with an ace, the side card. Uh, Liam was uh, the best he can make is two pairs sixes and fours uh, with the eight on the table. <laughs> Three so, pairs uh, don't win you anything <laughs> in this game because it's only five cards that play, and it's just the best five cards. Four players left. Who do you make as a tournament favorite right now, Nick? I, I, I like Liam's chances. Um, he, he, he took that beat really well, and uh, he's pretty relaxed about it. And he's got a good few chips in front of him and the experience to go with it. The bandit looks deadly inscrutable. Four players left, two of them go on to the poker finals and the 40,000 pound first prize. Simon, David, Liam, and Peter Evans. Raise me. David's making another all-in raise. Queen nine's a bit down for him with the raising hands, isn't it? I would say uh, that's a trifle optimistic, but I think uh, he's just trying to get the other players out rather than thinking his hand's so good. And yeah, the blinds are big enough now that if you just win them, it's something, isn't it? That's right. Whoops. All in. All in. Pass. I can't wait to see the bandit's hand. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Steve is all in. Well, that's fourteen hundred pounds each. Twenty-eight hundred pounds. It's a queen nine for Dave. Peter has ace king. Oh, his big hand. Big hand. 
He's a big favorite here. Oh. Well, Dave's dead. That pretty much wraps that up. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Dave. Ace King is two pairs on the flop, and there's just no catching up to that. Peter takes top two pair on board, and Dave gets fourth place. Let's look at that hand. You can see Peter uses the ace and king in his hand with the ace and king on the board to make two pair aces and kings. Four is his fifth card. David's just got a queen and a nine. He can't make a pair, so he just got the pair of fours with the ace, king, queen, high. That's that's not going to win. Well, it's three players. Two of them are going to be happy, and one of them is going to be very sad. Is that? Peter's got about 3,000. I'm watching me. It must be Peter. <laughs> Simon and Liam are splitting up the rest right now. It's whoever starts getting busy now. Whoever starts making moves. Six postcards, ten of diamonds, six of clubs. All right. Simon's on a pair of fives. Let's see what he does with it. Raise to 1,400. 1,400, 1,400 pounds. That's a 1,000 pound raise from the 400 pound big blind. He was got a jack and a 10. Can't imagine he would think much of that hand, huh? He can't call. Well, I have to imagine what's going through Liam's head as he's thinking if he puts them all in, maybe Simon